It's a crazy life, but it's, I like that life. A woman who had cancer of the uterus, they removed her womb, and she came to see me, and I said, Madam, we are going to replace that womb. You will fall under the anointing. God will show you different parts of the body. Choose the one you like. Do you know <laughs> she saw womb? She saw hair. For reasons I don't know, women like hair. I don't understand. I'm yet to know why. Including my wife. They like hair. The longer the hair is, the better they feel. She picked hair. Madam, is that what you need? <laughs> Tell God you want a womb. And God gave her, showed her a womb. As she touched the womb, she began to menstruate on this side of heaven. And conceived and gave birth. The boy is about 21 years now. Right where you are sitting, whatever will add joy and add value and add speed to your life shall be added now. You don't have to ask me too many questions. I don't know if you know, my first child was born crippled. My mother and my wife used to ask me, when shall this child walk? When shall this child walk? Madam, every problem has time limits. When we get there, the boy shall walk. The boy did not walk until I came back from Bible College. The day my wife had our second child, her nurse asked me, did they say you pray for the sick? And I said, yes. When will this your crippled boy walk? And I said, today, because you have turned your mouth into a basket mouth, God is angry and will show his power on my behalf now. Father, what do I do? God said, raise a song. So I went from song to song. The boy slept off under the anointing. Woke up and said, Daddy, while I was sleeping, angels were here. They have changed my two legs. I can walk and run. Come, is that how you clap? Angels will run away. 